Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I'm really happy to take you inside the Google Analytics account of an e-commerce store that's doing right around $400,000 per month in revenue. So some business owners sell $20 pounds of coffee, some business owners sell printers, um, some business owners sell cars. And if you have an e-commerce website, it's really important that your Google Analytics are all configured properly so that you can track visitors to your website and determine exactly what they're doing. Um, that helps you to spend uh, your, your ad money properly. It helps you to optimize for search engines. Um, and it helps you to make sure that your e-commerce business is profitable. So right now we're going to get into this uh, e-commerce website. It's the Google Merchandise Store. It's a pretty cool website. It's like the website where you could go and buy Google t-shirts, right? Um, or you could buy um, Google bags. Um, they have drinkware, right? So mugs and cups and stuff like that. Water bottles. Um, it looks like they're selling stickers even, you know, sports and fitness stuff. So the whole website I think has just right around 50 or maybe 50 or 60 items on it so not very many items but here's the menu and uh, you can see that they're just trying to sell little knickknacks and stuff so this little store um, that sells these little knickknacks you can tell here did in the last 30 days four hundred and eleven thousand dollars in revenue with sixty one thousand um, visitors to their website so let's take a look right now at this. this is the Google Analytics dashboard for this account okay so this store here, the Google Merchandise Store, has this Google Analytics account hooked up to it so that we can see all of the data that is running through it and all of the conversions that are happening on this website. So right here, uh, we see the Google Analytics home, uh, the, the dashboard or the home page, I guess you could call it, um, has a number of sections. And you can actually customize this dashboard here in this section, right? You can make your own dashboards and, lay and reports and you can do all that. But the dashboard that comes by default is actually very powerful. It has just about everything I usually need on it. Uh, maybe there's a couple things that you might add to it. But here we can see um, the numbers we just talked about, 61,000 users, $411,000 in revenue. And you can, you, you can change the, um, the range of time right here. You can say today, yesterday, last seven days. So let's just take a look at the last seven days on this website. Last seven days, this website generated $88,000 in revenue. So that's pretty cool. You can see right now the real-time users, we have 27 people visiting this website right now. And you can see all the active pages right here, the home page and the other pages that people are sitting on. So um, how do you acquire users is a, cool little, is a cool little section where it talks about how it's organic, referral, direct, social, or other. So this is important stuff because uh, organic search, while it takes a lot of time to optimize to make it perfect, is the search that you're not paying for for clicks. So all of the other stuff, the social media and all the other stuff, it's kind of labor intensive and it costs some money. But your search engine optimization on your organic terms is the most powerful way to get visitors to your website without paying for advertisements. So anyway, um, how are your active users trending over time? And here you can kind of just see what they've been doing. Um, 61,000 monthly, 15,000 weekly, and 2.5 thousand daily users. And we can just see the trend line, meaning are we growing or are we shrinking in numbers? And you can kind of see it's up and down, but it is sort of like a line going up, isn't it? So that's kind of good. Uh, user retention, and it's how well do we retain our users, and we can see a cool little chart there. So what time of day do my users visit my website? And this is a cool section for people who might be considering uh, starting an AdWords campaign that's based on time of day. So uh, you might not want to run your advertisement all day and all night. Um, certain people who sell certain products might only run their ad at night. Some people who sell other products might only run their ad during the day. So this is a good way to determine what's the best time to run those ads. As you can see, the darkest colors are the most users, and it's just a really cool layout there. So where do they come from? Where do my users come from by country? We can see most 50% uh, of my users here to this website, uh, according to the analytics dashboard, are coming from the United States. Um, and then these other countries account for smaller percentages. 
What kinds of devices are people on? Interestingly, 68% of users are visiting this store on a desktop device. That's very interesting because a lot of other stores um, experience the exact opposite thing where most of their users are coming through on mobile devices. What pages do my users visit? This is very important because if I have products in a, in, on product pages and everyone's always going to my home page and no one's ever visiting my product pages, we instantly know that there's some kind of an issue going on with my e-commerce site. But here we can see home, home is accounting for 15,000 page views over the last seven days. Let's switch this to 30 days so we can get a better idea of the numbers. Um, so 67,000 on home and then 22,000 in the basket. And you can see here all these different links and the numbers. Um, so how am I performing against my goals? So in Google Analytics, the number one issue I would say with business owners is that they haven't configured their goals in Google Analytics. So they know what they want to happen and they might have that data in another dashboard, but really you want to configure your goals in Google Analytics because it's important to know that you've completed 4.3 thousand goals in the last seven days. Uh, for one customer, a goal might be um, that, a, that, a, that a visitor just land in a, a shopping cart. I mean, that could be a goal. Uh, for another uh, customer, a goal could just be that they land on their homepage. And then a nonprofit organization, their goal might be that someone sign up. It might not have anything to do with e-commerce, but just that they sign up. So these different goals need to be set up correctly in Google, so in Google Analytics, so that you can track them. And here you can see they have about a 25% conversion rate on goals, which is pretty, pretty uh, epic, honestly. 25% of people that visit their website complete some kind of goal for them, intense. So uh, how are my AdWords campaigns performing? And this is another thing I see. I see business owners with an AdWords campaign over here and an analytics account over here, and that they're not connected in the middle so that your analytics account isn't quite reporting everything it should be for your AdWords account. And those things really should be connected. Otherwise, you could be missing insights into how to make more money with the money you're spending, right? What are my top selling products? And this is really cool because at a glance, I can just see the number one selling product on my website. And then um, let's go by 30 days. Just who knows if something may have changed and we can see about uh, 319 unique purchases in the last 30 days on this outdoor security camera. So, so you guys, that's the dashboard. Um, really powerful stuff. You can add and remove things to this dashboard as you like. You can customize it, like I said. So let's go now and let's go into real-time reports. So we look at the overview of any of these categories and we get basically uh, like the landing or like the um, home page for that category. So here you can see right now I have 22 people visiting this web page, or I'm sorry, visiting this website on all the different pages. And then it breaks down which pages are people visiting right here. So most people are on men, apparel, men's, men's t-shirts, right? And so real time, this is really cool that, that you can see who is visiting your site moment by moment, second by second, and see what they're doing. If someone was placing an order right now, I would see them placing an order. I can see here where they're all located, and that's very cool stuff. It's very powerful stuff. Here you can dive a little deeper into their locations. And all of these things that are links enable you to just click on and see a little bit deeper of a view. Um, right here, actually, you'll see me in here somewhere in Southern California. So, I mean, I'm one of the people visiting this site right here, so I'm, I'm being found in the real-time reports, of course. You can see referral organic um, or um, or pay-per-click. And then here we have content. And so this is going to just break down the actual uh, titles of the pages, essentially, so that you know what you're looking at. You know, the links sometimes don't tell you what you're looking at. Now you can see the title, events. So I'm just giving you a quick run through on what real time looks like and what it should look like for a business owner that's running this stuff properly. And finally, con real time conversions. So you know, right now to have 14 people on your website converting is pretty uh, is pretty insane. And you can see um, some people registering, some people in checkout, and some people just completed a purchase, and they're just sitting on that page for some reason. Okay, so that's the real time reports. Let's look at audience. In the audience overview, uh, we're going to see basically the rundown of users, whether they're new or returning. We're going to find internet sessions and, um, of course, uh, page views. So. 
you know, one user may visit your website for the first time as a new user and they may do five page views. So one new user may do five page views, right? Um, that's how that stuff's broken down. How many pages per session and what's their bounce rate? So a 45.79% bounce rate is actually very low. Um, it would be nice to get some of some of the business owners that I know down to down to 45.79% bounce rate. It'd be pretty awesome. So I'll just click through here quickly, just so you can kind of see what you're what you're gonna get when you sign up for your Google Analytics account and integrate it with your e-commerce website. Um, so these are two beta sections here that aren't totally finished, but they're already working. Google's so awesome about letting us play with their toys while they develop them, aren't they? You can get into demographics. This stuff's a little bit uh, more time um, consuming to set up. Um, it just takes a little bit more love to get this stuff all reporting, but it's really worth it. If you sell something um, that, if you sell a number of products and those products are generally being sold to a certain demograph or uh, group of people, it makes sense that you would target only those people with your advertising and stop spending money on the other people, right? So that's how you can figure that stuff out right there by age, gender, um, interests, geography. I mean, it goes pretty deep, you guys, so you can see all this stuff here, you know, by language. Um, you can even go in here and you can tell, uh, you know, what browser, what internet browser are your, are your visitors using so that, um, let's say you're uh, optimizing certain pages of your website and you find that almost everybody is using their, you know, their Android device to view your, your, um, your product, then go ahead and develop for Android, right? Why not? So, okay, let's go ahead and close the audience tab. It's powerful stuff, but let's look at acquisition. So how do we get customers, or I'm sorry, how do we get visitors? And this breaks down that stuff for us. So this is where you can really get an idea of how good are you at search engine optimization for organic terms? Who's sending you referrals? Uh, what percentage of, of other websites are sending visitors your way um, through referrals? How many of them are just coming direct to your website? And the reason someone will come direct to your website could be because you have a team of people out there maybe telling them, go to my, go to my store and buy a t-shirt, you know, go, go and buy a home, buy a home alarm system, buy a home, um, an outdoor security camera, buy these things. You might have a team of people out there sending people directly to your website and they're just landing on your website. It's actually 15.4% uh, is a lot of direct um, visitors coming to your website. So. Um, right here we can see all the different ways that they break down the overview for acquisition. Um, we can even look at the ch different channels. Um, we can look at AdWords. We can look at all the different accounts. So this stuff, it goes really, really deep and it, a lot of it needs to be explained in more detail, but I don't want to spend more than about 15 minutes on this video showing you just the inside of this page. Um, so now let's take a look at behavior, and this is where stuff gets really cool. You can tell exactly what people are doing when they're on your website. Um, are people, you know, are they coming to my homepage and then are they going shopping and are they bailing out and going and buying it from someone else? Well, you can determine some of those things and get some insights to that stuff here. Um, you know, how here you're looking at again the bounce rate. Um, behavior flow is really, really cool. So this is going to be a line chart that's going to just show you the progress of a patient or of, of a of a visitor through your website. You can see they go through the home page. Maybe they click on a category, you know, and then they're going through, and and eventually they should end up in your shopping cart buying something, right? Events, um, an overview of events, and um, let's look right at conversions now. As we're running out of time here, I want to make sure I get into conversions and show you what's going on there on their e-commerce stuff. It's so cool. So. Their e-commerce goals are all set up perfectly so that um, you can see goal completions and you can see abandonment. So abandonment to me is like one of the most important things, right, is who's converting, who's completing, and who's abandoning. And abandonment sometimes is a matter of web design, that, that, that there's something happening somewhere that freaks them out and they bail out of their, they bail out of their order. So that's an important number right there. Um, let's get right into e-commerce where we can actually see the dollar numbers, right? So right here, we're looking at the date range. Um, we go, and I like to look at a one month view. Personally, that's what I like to do. I like to look at a month and I'll apply it. And you'll see that in the last 30 days, we've done $402,301.78 in revenue with an average order value of $182.95. 
Uh, you can tell here the number one product that we've sold $57,953 worth is the Nest Cam Outdoor Security Camera. And you can find that product right here. And I want to show you what that looks like. What does this product look like that's generating so much money in sales? It looks like this. This is it. Boom. Click it. Add to cart or view it. You view it. You're looking at it. This is really, really simple e-commerce right here, and it's converting hundreds of sales, hundreds of sales an hour. Continue or go to shopping cart. Okay, so each of these steps in this process has been very thoroughly thought out, tested, and considered, and then implemented. And right now you can actually, you can tell that this website is doing some testing. So they have an A and a B and a C version of this website probably. And the website that has the design that, that generates the most sales or conversions, they're going to revert to. And here you can see Google redesign Nest, Nest Plus USA. So this page is actually one of the redesigns and it's one of the test pages. So, you know, it's hard to tell if you landed on an original page or a test page, but here I can tell I'm landing on a test page. Shopping behavior, it's really cool to see how many people are landing on my website and not shopping, right? How many people are adding something to their shopping cart? How many people are abandoning their cart? And how many people are, are, are bailing out altogether? So those are really important things to know. Um, what's my checkout behavior? Very similar, except instead of um, what are they doing when they're shopping, what are they doing after they're shopping, right? So product performance is a very, very powerful page because it's going to tell you exactly um, what items are selling for how much and what percentage of your sales are coming from those items. So if you're running a page like, if you're running a website like this and you're generating $57,953 in sales selling this security camera, you might want to invest a little bit more marketing money and boost that up and scale it up and see how far you can maximize that. So that's pretty cool stuff. Let's look at sales performance because it's always nice to see um, what do my orders look like? What does an order look like? Well, my biggest order looks like this. It's gonna have $14,654 in revenue in it. And it, and it looks like, in this case, a customer came in, they bought 300 units of the hardcover journal, 300 units of the YouTube journal, 500 units of the sports bag. So, I mean, let's just take a quick look. What does this mean, you know? What is this sports bag? And here it is. You know? So, it's obviously, they have a they're purchasing these things for their team, for their company, or for their customers, something like that, you know? So purchasing high quantities of these things. So one of their, um, I noticed one of their number, one of their number one selling products right here, if we go product performance again, and we can, instead of um, sorting it by, by revenue, right? Let's sort it by quantity. And you're gonna be, it's gonna be interesting here to see Google sunglasses, right? And the 22 ounce water bottle. So they've had 175 unique purchases on these Google sunglasses. Uh, let's take a look. What do these Google sunglasses look like that they're selling so many of? Let's take a quick look at those things. Here we go. Google sunglasses. These are no Google glasses. They'll still make your day fun at the beach. So that's pretty cool. You know, I mean, it's just a little, it's just a little, um, promotional item, but they're selling so many of them, it's ridiculous. And what's really cool about it is that you get to see those numbers right here. Uh, I was really excited to show you this stuff. I'm glad that you got to look at the back uh, of, of an e-commerce store that's successful, that's generating profit. I'm glad you got to see the analytics account and you got to see uh, how simple an e-commerce site can be and still be successful. I think sometimes our e-commerce sites get a little too cluttered and a little too messy, a little too Prof, uh, professional looking and in here is an example of an e-commerce site that is very simple and is generating like I said and like we saw over four hundred thousand dollars a month in revenue so thanks for coming back Matt here again at my web bro and have a great day bye mm -hmm.